Hi guys, in this uh, bonus section, I want to show you how to do booleans. And booleans are great for uh, cutting up meshes or creating uh, subtraction or intersection. So for example, you can create pieces like this for um, robots or some kind of a mechanical um, you know, model that you're building. So to do this, it's actually uh, really easy. All you need to do, let's re I'm going to reset my ZBrush. And let's uh, let's start with I'm gonna go to my light box and just grab like a Dynamesh 128. All right, now the net, the very first step you want to do is obviously add the object that you're gonna be subtracting. So in this case, let's grab something like a cylinder, right? So I'm gonna be subtracting the cylinder from the sphere. So I'm gonna so I can select the cylinder by clicking on this little layer. Or I can just hold down the old key and click the select it. Then I'm going to go to my deformation and let's go ahead and make it smaller. So I'm going to size it down and at any point I can uh, turn my turn on my transparency here so I could see what it looks like. I'm going to keep making it smaller. And now I want to rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it on and if I ever ever want to know what I'm rota rotating it on I can see right there red is X, green is Y, and blue is the front, which is Z, All right? So I wanna rotate it on X. So I'm gonna go to rotation, click X, and just type in 90 degrees, all right? Now I want to size it on Z, which is the blue line here, so I'm gonna size it by just leaving the Z checked and I'm gonna do this a couple times just so it goes kind of out like that. All right, so let's turn off our transparency and let's go ahead and subtract the shape. So now to subtract it, all I'm gonna do is click on this little button right here to kind of tell ZBrush that, hey, this is gonna be the subtraction shape. And then I'm gonna go to my poly groups and click on, let's turn on our polyframe so we can see what's happening but we're gonna click on this little button called Dynamesh sub as you can see the shape turns white now if you go back into sub tools and select the top layer which is your Dynamesh your main uh, sphere that we're gonna be subtracting from and simply merge down you could say OK and now all you need to do is hold down control key and drag and that will create the hole right in the sphere so and the next step is to just go over to your um, geometry tab and click on Z remesher and instead of 5000 let's change it to like 500 right and we'll say uh, re Z remesh that real quick for us again it's not going to be 500 it gave us 1100 so now if we wanted to to get closer to 500 for example let's turn off adaptive and say half and Z remesh this a couple times. So now we're at 600, starting to look really nice, but I really, let's say I wanted below 500. I'm gonna keep going, 294, so there you go. So now I have a decent uh, 294. If, if 294 is too low, maybe I can turn this on and say retain my edges, that's what this is. I'm gonna say Z remesh. And as you can see now it's 576, let's get a little lower, 558. So we're slowly uh, getting to uh, where, where we need to be. So that's how you do Booleans. And if you wanted to do uh, intersection, let me show you how to do that. So instead of, um, let's, let's do uh, uh, intersection. So to do an intersection, same process. Uh, let's, do, let's grab a cube. And I'm going to move my cube. And now let's say I want to create an intersection between the sphere and the cube. So I want to essentially only have that little part that is inside the cube. So how do we do that? So to do that, all you need to do is, um, again, click on this little button to tell uh, ZBrush that we're going to be performing some kind of a union and then let's go back to our poly groups click on group as Dynamesh 
Now I'll go back to Subtools, create our, select our main shape, and then again, let's merge down and say OK. But this time, instead of doing Control Drag, let's go to Geometry. And in our Geometry under Dynamesh, this would be the subtraction. We want Union. So I'm going to actually click this little guy right here. And when I click it, as you can see, it only gave me the Union part of the box of the sphere and the box so that's that's how you do that and then again go back to uh, Z remesher if you want it like a low poly so you can create pieces um, and you know different parts this way so I hope this helps and I'll see you guys soon